Hello guys, this is Mauro from CleanInfotech.com and in this video I want to show you how to use the uh, deployment image servicing and management utility uh, also known as uh, DISM uh, to apply uh, a Windows 10 technical preview image to a virtual hard drive and that way you can uh, uh, test the uh, new Windows technical preview on a dual boot system without modif uh, modifying anything on your current uh, installation. So to do this we're going to need uh, a Windows Technical Preview ISO file and we're going to need to create um, a virtual drive on Windows. So to do this um, we're going to uh, go to the start button, we're going to right click on it and go to this management. On this management we're going to create a new uh, uh, VHC click action create VHC I'm gonna be choosing uh, for the purpose of the demo uh, I'm gonna be choosing the uh, VHDX uh, uh, format for the uh, virtual hard drive uh, just because it uh, has a new feature for it's more resilient to power failures events but this is only supported on Windows 8.1 so if you had an earlier version of Windows you might have to choose the uh, VHC uh, for this demo I'm just gonna be using 22 gigabytes of uh, storage and you can use as minimal like you know a minimum of uh, 10 gigabytes if you like but that will not allow you will not have really good performance or allow you to install uh, a lot of applications on that hard on the uh, virtual hard drive so you can choose 20 25 whatever it's you know allowed in your system uh, now we're going to click browse and we're going to store this uh, virtual drive on the uh, on the C uh, drive. I'm just gonna name it Windows 10 Technical Preview Virtual Drive. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna click Save and click OK. So now that we have created the uh, the new virtual drive that is not initialized, as you can see right here, it says not initialized. So you're just going to right click, initialize disk, and now we're going to be using the uh, GPT option and click OK. Now it's initialized and, and the drive is online. Now the in, in allocated space we need to create a new volume. So we right click on it and click uh, new simple volume. I'm going to click next. I'm going to use all the available space and click next. And we're going to choose the um, the drive letter that we want for this drive and in my case I'm going to choose E but you can choose any letter you want just remember which one is it because you're going to need it to to apply uh, you're going to need it when you're typing the uh, uh, the command line to apply the image to the uh, to this uh, uh, hard drive and now click next make sure that the file system is NTFS and you're choosing the uh, perform a quick format click next and finish so now we have the um, the new drive with the letter E, and now we're we going we're going to do now that we have the uh, virtual hard drive all set up, we're going to extract all the uh, files from the uh, Windows Technical Preview ISO, and to do this, I'm going to be using Seven Zip. Uh, it's, it's a free. So, um, uh, file management software that you can download from the internet and now we're just going to open it select all the uh, files and folders and we're going to extract it and this camera is just going to it to my desktop uh, in, inside of the uh, win 10 tp folder and then click ok and it's going to extract all the uh, all the files and folders to that directory i already done that so we don't waste any more time I'm just going to cancel this and I'm going to go straight to the uh, command line that you have to use. So now you have to open the uh, command prompt as administrator. And what you want to do is uh, open uh, the folder where you extracted all the uh, files. Copy the path. Actually, you go to sources inside of that folder and copy the path. And inside of the command prompt you're going to move to that folder and it's going to type cd space 
and because I already uh, copied it, I'm just gonna paste, right, uh, right click and click paste, and I'm gonna move to that folder. So here, that's where you type the uh, 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 the deployment image servicing and management command that that's going to apply the um, uh, the image uh, to the uh, virtual drive. So I already typed that one, and I have it right here. And this is a command you're gonna be using. And I'm gonna leave this in the comments of the video so you can uh, uh, just copy and paste it. Just remember that uh, in my case, the drive letter is E, but you might be different, so you, you want to change that. Once you're on the path and you type the command, press enter and the uh, image from the ISO file is going to be applied uh, to the new virtual drive. I'm going to click uh, enter and the uh, process is going to start. So as you can see applying the image 1%. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to come back when this is finished and I'm going to tell you how to complete the installation. All right, so the uh, the image has been applied to the virtual disk, and now the last thing we have to do is uh, to make uh, the virtual drive bootable and to show up in the bootloader. So to do that, we're just uh, going to, you can open another command prompt if you like, and then we're just gonna type the uh, uh, letter of the, uh, of the drive, and actually, actually, sorry, it's a B C D boot command, and then we're just going to specify which drive, which uh, which is the, uh, in my case, is E, and Windows. So I'm going to do this. Press Enter, and now the boot file has uh, has successfully created, and now everything should be uh, working now. The last thing you have to do is uh, reboot the computer, and the, the Windows bootloader uh, will show uh, will pop up, and you can choose between the uh, two operating system, the Windows 10 Technical Preview, and the ones you already have. Uh, once you choose the uh, Technical Preview, it will go through the uh, final setup, like if it was a, a, a new computer, and after that you will get it back. Uh, you go back into the um, to the desktop and you're ready to test the uh, new Windows 10 technical preview. So I hope this uh, video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.